Hey, what up everybody? Welcome to Game Over Entertainment. Back in action this week for another Walking Dead Wednesday. So I know I've been absent the past couple weeks, but uh, just had to get some things together. And now that I'm situated now, I'm going to go ahead and continue my videos here on Game Over Entertainment channel and also on my other channel out there too. So uh, yes, that's what's going on right now. And back on topic with this video right here. What are we talking about this week on the Walking Dead Wednesday? why Kenny and Clementine should have never made it to Wellington. All right, so guys, I'm not talking about like the story aspect of it, why they shouldn't have made it there story-wise, but just from a logical point of view, why them making the Wellington is like really hard to believe. You know, them making their one piece based on the information that we know in season two, episode five. So going back to this episode right here, we got the situation where you let Kenny kill Jane and then you have an option whether or not you want to shoot him and then another option later on where you want to forgive him. And if you do not shoot him and if you do forgive him, you get the uh, Wellington ending where it's going to be Kenny, Clementine and AJ traveling to Wellington by foot uh, with a nine day skip and them arriving at the front gates by the end of it all. Now let's take a look at the situation that these guys are in right now. Now before we even set off on our journey, you're already in the middle of a violent snowstorm. Snowstorm so powerful that you can't see more than 20 feet in front of your face. So you know that's not really good traveling conditions, especially with a newborn baby in your arms. And we're heading off to even colder climates. We're heading further north because Wellington's supposed to be somewhere north near Michigan. And you know, Clementine uh shot in through the chest shot right through the chest area and uh she's wounded now the bullet went straight through but she hasn't received any type of medical attention no one's probably even like i'm pretty sure they looked at the see the bullet was still there and that's about it okay and she's still walking she's still doing fine no way is this girl ready for traveling i don't care who she is man unless she's terminator Clem. okay <laughs> ready to destroy all <laughs> but um realistically man i don't think they should have made it, especially with the newborn baby right there they probably would have gotten to some issues where they had to take shelter like for extended period of time like they wouldn't be able to travel and stuff because um just having uh, a newborn baby out in this type of weather is just it would be terrible it's terrible and I'm, I'm surprised no one really got sick by the end of it either now them actually making it to wellington uh you know like traveling there um it just seems so unlikely i mean just based on the little information that we know about wellington it being somewhere near michigan somewhere near michigan okay let me put that in my gps yeah i'll never make it there okay so can you not have any idea where the relative location is no this man has no address and you know him traveling in the direction he don't even know if he's going the right way so them actually finding this utopia out there, this dreamland out there, at least in Kenny's eyes, um, just seems that much fictional. And where do we hear about Wellington from? Where's the source? Now, this is something that's never revealed in season two. But, you know, it, it is a fact that Kenny and um, Krista actually heard about it together. Kenny may have heard this from someone passing through the launch. It looks like that was Matthew's normal duty to guard the bridge to let passengers go over the bridge and give them safe passages and whatnot. So Kenny may have heard it from someone else traveling there, you know, traveling toward Wellington. Like, hey, there's a place up there called Wellington. It's near Michigan. That's probably where you heard it from. And Krista, she had to interact with somebody along the way to actually hear about Wellington as well. Maybe she killed a man and his dying breath was, you'll never make it to Wellington. And, and then that's what she learned about Wellington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Krista was kind of crazy there toward the end. Uh, well, she was angry. She was an angry black woman, man. Uh, but anyways, um, okay, so this information about Wellington is not really coming from a credible source right here. So it could not have been real in the first place. It could have been like a fairy tale, a myth, a utopia, a mirage, something that people want to believe is real and has been talked about so much that has been made to be real, at least in people's minds. They think it's really a place out there. A place that they can uh, they can actually get to a place they can be safe at so you know it just sounds uh Wellington in general just sounds too good to be true in aspect in light of everything we've seen so far and the uh, the walk and did all as a whole um, no one's really uh this nice no community is really that safe there's always a, a twist a turn there's always some good to I mean some bad to go along with that good okay no one is entirely all good right I don't know I don't know, but uh, that's a topic for another day. But uh, yeah, um, 
it's just it's just amazing that this place actually existed out there and that Clementine and uh um Kenny were actually able to find it too like find it's like a needle in a haystack near Michigan uh, you can tell me a place is up the street and I can still not find out where it is so just near Michigan just not a, a really good description so maybe Kenny had some more intel maybe he had some more information about where Wellington was but we never got to see that and also one of the biggest things out there too where did Kenny and Clementine find food for AJ him being a newborn baby there's not really much he can eat okay there's not really much in his diet that he can consume and uh, the whole reason why Kenny was actually motivated to get out of that situation in season two episode five so quickly get that truck started and get on the road uh, to find Wellington was to find food for AJ he said this baby doesn't have much longer to live uh, you know we gotta do what we can to keep him alive and I need to get to Wellington where they should have all this stuff so where did we find this magical food stores in those nine days during the skip um, don't know we must have found something not alone just for AJ for me and Kenny too you know we gotta eat as well I don't know if Kenny is a hunter I don't know if Clementine really knows those in the woods survival skills you think she would you know being with Krista and being alone a lot of the time like uh, Krista said something kind of revealing in season two episode one um, she said things like tending the fire that's something you should uh, know how to do Clementine that's something you should be learning like uh, yes uh, I agree with Krista here but Clementine probably should have been known the information seeing that she doesn't even know how to properly maintain a, a fire in the woods you know what else does she not know about surviving out there in the wilderness like this or just on the road and stuff like that without a community without shelter and stuff so you know I don't know I don't know but yeah a lot of obstacles in that path right there and I would just like to get the untold story because something happened during those nine days that can probably put all this together all the pieces of the puzzle that I'm talking about that don't really add up there's probably something that happened in those nine days that can make it all intertwine together and become a complete story of how they got there along with that you know we could have the nine days for the other indies as well those are all those mysteries out there what happened during those times you know Kenny I mean, um, with uh, Clementine and Jane, with uh, Clementine alone with AJ, you know, how they get in those situations, you know, what kind of stuff that they run into along the way. But the main reason why I'm putting all my focus on the Wellington ending in particular is because that one seems just the least most possible. And you got to take in the aspect, the zombies too. I haven't even talked about the walkers. What about the walkers? You know, they can come from any which side. You're in the middle of the woods. They can come from anywhere, man. So you always have that feeling of being unsafe. You always have that nervousness, nervousness around you, especially traveling, not able to sit still because you're headed toward a destination. So, you know, you got all those things out there and one to one just sounds the most uh, difficult to believe that Clementine, Kenny, and this newborn baby made it there in one piece. Do you know what we've been through? You have any idea what it took for us to get here? And now, now you're just gonna turn us away. This is bullshit. Well, it's a shitty situation. We're all doing the best we can. You all stay safe out there. Now let's just pretend like they never did make the wall 10, like they were really searching for it, but they never did came in contact with it. Like what would have happened to these three? Well, I think their fate would have went down would have went downhill like really fast. Um Kenny, I don't know, I don't know how he would have would have coped with it because he was already getting heavy blows and stuff. He was already on his last leg, and him uh, seeing that this last bit of hope, Wellington out there, this this safe haven actually doesn't exist, or find out that he is truly lost out there and he can't really find out, uh, don't have a clue where he's going. Um, definitely would um uh, would have devastated him big time. So. Um, yeah, you know, good news. We found Wellington, so that didn't happen. But uh, yeah, guys, I want to hear your thoughts about this. What are your thoughts on Wellington? Do you think they could have made it? You know, just given the situation that Clementine was in, you know, hurt, still wounded from the shoulder shot. AJ uh, still got to find that baby nutrition. Kenny out there in the middle of a snowstorm. I don't know, man. These these obstacles seem too much for a, a normal person to overcome. At least without without dying along the way in some form or fashion so there's definitely something going on with these nine days or maybe they just uh they just skimmed over it all just to get us there like ah we'll just give you well until we won't explain or it won't make sense of how they got here uh does anything can happen in these nine days just leave it like open booked so the players can really make up their own theories and thoughts about what went down there but um 
yeah that's all i gotta say right there guys so videos will be continuing on the channel from this point forward at a steady rate i'm gonna try to get out at least, uh, maybe three videos a week get back on track with that and uh yeah we'll see how it goes from there okay so guys uh, tell me your thoughts about this thumbs up the video if you did appreciate this thank you for watching game over out